thank God for your keeping power. We thank you for your healing power. We thank you, my God, for your governing power, oh God. My God, my God, we give you the glory. We give you the honor. We bless your name, dear Lord God, because we understand there's nothing we can do on our own, God, but we need you in every aspect of our life, oh God. My God, my God, tonight, Lord God, we're praying, Lord, that you would stretch out your hand, dear God, that you would feed, my God, your people everywhere in the name of Jesus. My God, we pray that you would move tonight, Lord God. My God, heal those that are sick in their bodies, Lord. My God, move tonight, Lord God. Answer the unanswered questions, God. In the name of Jesus, move tonight, Lord God. My God, deliver your people out of bondage, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we pray tonight, Lord. My God, that you would speak a word, Lord God, to that soul, Lord. My God, that is held hostage in their home, Lord. Held hostage, oh God, wherever they're at, God. My God, in the name of Jesus, speak peace, oh God, to that troubled mind, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray tonight, Lord. My God, that your word would have free course, oh God. My God, you know, Lord, who's watching, who's listening, God. You know who's gathering, oh God, to hear a word from you, Lord. My God, speak to each individual, Lord God, in every situation, Lord. My God, we pray tonight, let the same anointing, God, that abides upon your word, abide upon this, your servant. My God, that faith may come alive, oh God, in the hearer. My God, we pray, and Lord, we'll fail not to give your name glory, honor, and praise, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everyone. Hallelujah. We greet you all in that precious and wonderful and glorious name of Jesus. Again, telling you and saying unto you that there is no other name given unto heaven among men whereby we must be saved. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And I'm praising God that he did not allow us to be destroyed by the hand of the enemy. Amen. Amen. Just in case you did not know, that is the enemy's job is to destroy you. He's not there to be your friend. He's not there, my God, to pet you. He's there to destroy you. Praise our God. In fact, that's what the scriptures is. He said to steal, kill, and to destroy. It's not enough that you're dead. He wants you destroyed that you cannot come back again. Praise the Lamb of God. But I'm grateful that the protection hand of God has been upon us and has been upon you all. Hallelujah to God. We give him glory tonight. In your Bibles, again, we're continuing on with this series. Can you handle the mantle? Can you handle the mantle? Everybody wants to say they have a ministry and everybody wants a place that they call their own and everybody wants, hallelujah, to say they're, they're under some special assignment from the Lord, but can you handle the mantle? Right. With your special assignment, can you handle the mantle? Mm -hmm. With your special, not even in the Bible anointing, can you handle the mantle? Right. Hallelujah to God. And, and so, the Lord dealt with me today on the mindset of the person that has to handle the mantle. The mindset. Too often we, we, we don't have the mind to actually do what God has called us to do. And so what happens is we do it in our flesh and as soon as our flesh gets irritated, yeah. then we see another side of you. Hallelujah. And so this is where you get uh, in your flesh, and now all of a sudden in your ministry, your flesh comes out. Uh -huh. We see attitude flying, and hallelujah. Let me tell you something. God don't anoint attitude. That's you. Praise our God. God does not anoint your, your, your special need in the mind. You, you got to yield yourself to God. So let's look back where we started last week about Elijah. In the book of First uh, Kings, chapter number nineteen, I pray that you brought your Bibles because this is Bible class, and we believe in flipping through the Scriptures. Praise God. Amen to God. And I, I, I love uh, to be able to walk through the Scriptures because my opinion is just as good as yours. Is the Bible that is right? Everybody else is wrong. 
That's right. Amen. In the book of 1 Kings, chapter number 19. And verse number 19, and so he departed thence and found Elijah, the son of Shaphat, who was plowing with 12 yokes of oxen before him. And with 12, with the 12. And Elijah passed by him and cast his mantle upon him. Now that sounds all well and good. Mm -hmm. He Cast the prophetic mantle upon him. But not only, we have to understand, Elijah was not only a prophet, but God used him to judge. Right. Uh oh, y'all ain't catching this. Mm -hmm. See, some people, they, they, they got one idea of what the mantle is. Right. And so they're ready to jump with that mantle. Oh, I got a word in my mouth. But you got to have more than a word in your mouth. Right. You have, a, have to have a word controlling your spirit. Mm -hmm. mm. Help me here, God. If the word does not control your spirit, it's not good coming out your mouth. Right. Because the word coming out of your mouth can be your own condemnation. Right. Remember, I believe it's in the book of Numbers where there was the young prophet who God told to go into the city and don't come or go out the same way you went in and don't eat or drink in that city. And he went in mm -hmm. and he prophesied, but then there was an old prophet. The Bible called him a false prophet that told him that the angel met him by the way and told him to come back and eat with him at his table. And the young prophet listened to the old prophet and the Bible said the spirit of the Lord moved upon the old false prophet Lord have mercy. So the word came into his mouth, but the Bible still called him a false prophet. He prophesied, though, under the anointing of God, that because the young prophet did not obey the voice of the Lord, that he would not return to the land of his fathers, and that his carcass would not be there. And so when the young prophet left, guess what? A lion met him in the way and slew him. Lord have mercy. Then was then told that the old told to the old prophet that guess what he didn't make it a lion slew him and is in fact standing by the carcass. Right. The old prophet went out to look at it and said, "Surely, God has done this." Now get this: the word was in his mouth, but it didn't control his spirit because the Bible never said that the false prophet got himself together. So just because you gave one word don't mean you right with God. Help me hear God. That's right. Help me hear God. Help me God. Right. Help right. my life to match up right. with what I'm claiming God is calling me to be. Amen. Help me hear God. Now get this. He lays his mantle upon him. And he left the oxen. As soon as the mantle hit him, he rose up and knew I'm being called to duty. See, some people don't understand when God puts his mantle on you, you are called at that point to duty. There, there's something you must do. Now get this. Let's look at his mindset. His mindset, he ran after Elijah and said, let me, I pray thee, kiss my father and my mother. In other words, I know this is the last time I'm going to see them. Oh, you can catch this. I'm not going to be sitting at Thanksgiving table no more. I'm not going to be sitting, Lord have mercy, uh, anymore with him because my call is greater than my family. Uh -huh. His on. mindset was, I've got Ooh, to kiss you goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. Too often we're trying to incorporate people into the call of God that God has never called to be incorporated. Oh, that's good, Pastor. Oh, look, look, look at him. Look at him. My God. He said, let me kiss them. Let me bid them good, uh, a goodbye. And I will follow you. Yeah. My mindset is ready. I know the calling of God is not going to allow me to be lazy. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be allowed to sit under this table anymore. Right. I'm not going to be plowing oxen anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to farm anymore. 
There's a call on my life greater than what I expected. Amen. I was right here plowing and I was fine with that. But the mantle has now been laid upon me. Let me kiss them and I will follow thee. And he said unto him, go back again. For what have I done to thee? Do you, you really know what I've, I've done? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going back because I know I'm not coming back here. Right. Mm. See, some of us can't handle the mantle because we want to go backwards. Mm -hmm. As soon as it gets difficult, we want to go backwards. Yeah. As soon as, Lord have mercy, we realize what we got to give up, we want to go backwards. Yeah. Oh, my God. Until you're ready to kiss the past goodbye. Finally say goodbye. You cannot move on with God. Mm -hmm. mm, mm, mm. Help me God. Then guess what else his mind says. And he said unto him. Go back again. And for what have I done to thee. At verse 21. And he returned back from him. And took yoke of oxen. Mm -hmm. And slew them. And boiled their flesh. With the instruments of the oxen. And gave unto the people. In other words, let me minister to y'all for one last time. <laughs> let me minister to you one last time because I'm not coming back here anymore. Oh, God. See, some of us keep trying to hold on, keep attached to our past. And the more you keep saying, well, I got to go back and get this. And I got to go back and get this. The devil can keep you from doing your job. Elijah said, there's no more oxen for me to come back to. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's <laughs> there's nothing for me to come back uh -huh. to. Uh -huh. Elijah had to have this moment himself when he had the cave experience. Yeah. He said, what are you doing here? I've not called you to a cave. What are you doing here? Right. you got a mantle on you, and the mantle is not for a cave. Right. Oh, God. Oh, God, what is your mindset? Can you handle the mantle? Right. The Bible said, if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Mm -hmm. What you going back for? What, 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 what you going back for? What, what, what are you looking for? Lord, have mercy. What is your mindset? Right. Too often we, we're looking to serve God, but we're serving God on condition. Mm -hmm. I will serve you if you do this. Right. And I will follow you if you do this. Now we forget all souls are mine. That's right. You can't bargain with something you don't own. All right. Look. <laughs> How are you gonna bluff with something you don't own? Right. You don't own yourself. Never did. Amen. For the Bible said it's not in a man that walketh. To direct his own footsteps. So you never did on yourself. Amen. Either the devil had you. Or God has you. Mm -hmm. You never did on yourself. Hallelujah. So when people brag to me. Talk about how big and bad they was. Out in the street. I laugh to myself now. Because it wasn't you. It was the demon powers. That you allowed to use. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So it wasn't you that was bad. It was the demon in you that was bad. Oh. Not, not, not look at it that wise. Not, not, not brag on that. That you were so uh, open to the devil to use you like he wanted to. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh -huh, uh -huh. Going to change your testimony now, ain't it? Mm -hmm. right, yeah. oh, I was bad in the street. I had to, I was strapped here and I was strapped here and I had my knife here. And, no, the devil had all that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the devil used you. That's why you had three or four boyfriends. The devil used you. That's why you had a girl on the side. The devil used you. Lord have mercy. It was Satan had you in the bar in the club. And when they walked in, everybody knew your name. That was the devil. It wasn't no, you wasn't that popular. The demon in you was popular. Uh oh. I believe that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's right. Uh oh. Oh God. And vice versa in the church. You're not popular. It's God in you that's popular. If somebody's getting help, it's not you. Amen. Oh, God. This is why the saints are supposed to be the humblest thing on planet Earth. Because they realize it's not them. Right. 
but God is. Isn't that what the apostle said? Greater is he that is in me. Not greater is me. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Now get this what he did. He not only bore the oxen, he took the instruments from off the oxen to bore the oxen. In other words, I don't even need what held the oxen down. I don't have the oxen, and I'm not coming back to get new oxen. <laughs> Woo! I, I, I'm going to take everything apart, use it as wood, to stir up the fire, to boil the meat, because there's nothing about my old life I'm coming back to. Oh, help me here, God. You can't handle the mantle when you still want to hold on to your old life. Amen. That's right. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Now, and my, my question is, that means you have to rebuild what was destroyed. And when you rebuild what is destroyed, it gains a greater hope on to you. And when you, it, it, you make yourself a transgressor, now you want somebody to pray and fast that off of you when you got to shake yourself loose. Leave that alone, preacher. Leave that alone. Now get this. He uses the instruments of the oxen and gave to the people and they did eat. Then he arose and went after Elijah and I'm going to minister to the one that God is using to transfer the mantle. Woo! Glory. Hallelujah. Oh God. Now notice if you please he didn't try to follow Elijah to figure out what he could change about what Elijah was doing. You have not accepted the mantle when you're trying to figure out how you can change. Lord have mercy. You ever see a church that the power of God has been flowing in for years, people healed and delivered, then somebody else take over and it just yeah. start falling yeah. apart because you got somebody so wise that they're trying to reinvent the wheel. They never had the mantle because the mantle dictates your life. That's right. Oh, God. Help me here, God. And can I tell you something? I, I, I pray for the leaders that turn over churches to people that God never laid the mantle upon, but you thought they were capable because they kissed up to you. You thought they were capable because they said yes to everything you did and said, but it wasn't in their heart. All right. They never had the mantle. That's right. Now notice, if you please, the one thing I found out about Elijah and Elijah, that God tells Elijah who to put the mantle on. Right. Y'all didn't catch that. Amen. There was no vote. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> sure, go ahead, put it like yeah. that. Yeah. There was no vote. No. <laughs> Israel didn't get together and said, let us see who we want to be the next prophet in Elijah's stead. No, 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 no. No, God appointed. That's right. When will God get his church back? Amen. Well, that is a good question. Bro. We want the mantle, but we don't want to follow the mandate of the mantle. Leave right. that alone, preacher. Leave that alone. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, God. We, we, we have a problem. We have a problem. We sure do. We have a problem. We have a problem. We have a problem. We have a problem. Amen. Yeah, the apostolic we, 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 Apostolic, Pentecostal, oneness, uh, uh, non-denominational, sanctified, whatever you want to call yourself, we got a problem. We won't let God have his church back. That's right. Amen. Come on. We're, we're so involved in... It's our church, and it, this is my house, and we're going to do it my way. Yep. Well, if it's your house, then everybody gets filled with your spirit, and they don't have the Holy Ghost. Amen. Uh-oh, let, let me leave that alone. Get me Matthew. I'm going out of order here, but Lord have mercy. I want us to get this tonight. I want us to get it. Matthew 4. Oh, sweet Lord. What he 
is your mindset? What are you focused on? Somehow we got church growth and church numbers mixed up. Right. Church growth has nothing to do with numbers. Amen. Church growth has to do with spiritual maturity. Mm Hence -hmm. why we got church numbers yeah. and no church growth. Amen. Because you, in, in that church with numbers, you got folks believing everything. In the church of numbers, you got people doing everything. Mm -hmm. In the church of numbers, Lord, have mercy. You got people unsettled. Yeah. In the church of numbers, you got folks that don't pray. They only come to church on Sunday morning to shout. They don't fast. Praise our God. They don't believe in tithing and offering. That's church numbers. But in church growth, we are following the word of God. So when you're praying, God, we want church growth, and you don't see a bunch of folks come through the door, he's giving you what you ask for. You ask for growth. Mm -hmm. Folks that are grounded and settled in truth. Oh, help me here, God. Amen. Mm -hmm. It's dangerous to pray ignorantly. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Show yourself as a healer. And if you ain't saying a specific case, that means you can get sick so he can show himself as a healer for you. <laughs> show yourself as a keeper. Now you in all sorts of different stuff and you, 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 he's showing himself as a keeper of your mind. Mm -hmm. Whoever that one's for, God bless your soul. <laughs> Matthew 4. Well. <laughs> and 19. Oh, we might as well start at 18. Notice what the scripture says. And Jesus walking by the Sea of Galilee saw two brothers, Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea. For they were fishers. This was their occupation. Mm -hmm. This was their business. And he said unto them, follow me. Mm -hmm. And I will make you. Underline that word make. That is process and procedure. I'm going to develop you. To fishers of men. That you'll be able to win souls. Just like you can cast out and get in fish. Mm -hmm. Now get this. Fishermen. These fishermen. They Lord have This before we got smart baits. Just trying to uh, fish for a certain type of fish. Right. They cast their net. And everything that was out there. That got caught in the net. Came in. Y'all y'all didn't catch this. Yeah. Too many of y'all are so locked in your mind of who God can save. And so now you cannot be fishers of men. You got fishers of personalities. All right. Amen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's right. You don't want certain personalities in your church. You don't want certain people of certain classes in your church. Right. You don't want people, Lord, have mercy uh, of certain uh, uh, characters that have gone through certain things and certain struggles in your church. Right. But in the church of the living God, yeah. the net was thrown out. Yes. Yes. And I can prove it because Paul gets to preaching and he said, and such yep. were some of you. Okay. I don't know how we get saved. We get cleaned up and forget where we came from. I don't know how we get saved, get cleaned up, and forget some of the mind fights we had, some of the struggles we had, and all of a sudden you think everything just dropped off of you when you got saved. Uh huh. That's right. We become a bigot. Yes, we do. And forget. <laughs> Everything wasn't easy to give up. Come on. 
Come on. There was stuff that was easy because we didn't want it in the first place. That's right. right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. When you were the social, you only did it when you were around certain people. That's uh -huh. easy. Right. But there were some things that were embedded in us mm -hmm. that we had to give up. Yep. Well, I was raised in church all my life. The anger that was embedded in you. Oh, oh God, help oh me here, God. God. Oh, God. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's deal with that. Yes. You know, because you, you, you said, well, they need to give up drugs. Well, your drug was anger. Yes. Yeah. You were raised in yeah. church, but you were angry. You were bitter. Yeah. Lord, judgmental. Yeah. Yeah. It was embedded in your yeah. spirit. Oh, Amen. Jesus. Help you us, me, Lord. Better. Help us, Lord. Help Ouch. us, Lord. And Ooh. now you you looking at somebody else talking about why don't they shake it off? You still haven't shut off right. what you've held on yeah. to. Right. Yes. 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 Oh God. Yes. Now the scripture oh, says Help this us. a little leaven leaven the whole lump. It doesn't matter what it is. Just a little bit messes you up. Yeah. 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 Help us, Lord. Yeah, Help us, Lord. Can you handle the mantle? You want to minister, but you don't want to minister out correctly and yeah. tell people. This is how you minister. Tell folks, I've been broken, yeah. but he's a healer. That's right. Amen. I struggled, but he kept me together. Yes. Thank you, Lord. I know there are some things that are difficult, but he's able to carry you through Amen. it. That's how, Lord, yeah. that's the mantle. Amen. Mm. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I will make you. Yep. Yes. I'm going to take you through some procedures right. and make you. Now get this. When they heard what he said and they straightway left their nets mm -hmm. and followed him. They, they had never even seen this man before. But they said something about him yep. makes me want to drop everything and figure out what he's talking about. Yep. Oh God. Yes, when are we going to drop everything and try to figure out what he's yes. talking about to us? Amen. Can you handle the mantle? Amen. Oh, God. You can't follow him trying to be stuck yes. to what you want to do. Mm -hmm. So this is my plan B. Right. There is no plan B with God. I'll say it again. Amen. There is no plan B with God. Amen. I'll say it one more time. There is no plan Woo! B with God. Amen. You cannot have a plan B when you got a mantle. Because the mantle takes over your life. That's right. See, I, I get disturbed by preachers yeah. that they only feel God in the pulpit in a packed house. Right. <laughs> huh. Oh, then they want to clown and really preach. Mm -hmm. yeah. That means you showboating talent. That's right. Yeah, that's it. You're not showboating God. Amen. Because God is showboated with just one person. Yep. Mm -hmm. yes, Hallelujah. God is showboated yeah, with two people. Right. God, God, God is showboated. Lord have mercy. By himself. He don't need a crowd. Amen. Lord have mercy. If you need a huge cathedral, mm -hmm. oh, you showboating talent, not God. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. Amen. That's it. You don't have the mantle. You got a self-woven cloth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. And they followed him. They followed him. Here's a mindset. Yep. Lord, you lead me. Amen. Right. I, I'll go wherever you say go. I, right. I'm, I'm not stuck to one place. I'm not stuck to one uh, one address. I'm stuck wherever you go. That's where I'm going. Yeah. Lord, I'm, I'm so glad for the book of Ruth when Ruth tells Naomi, wherever you go, that's where I'm going. Yeah. Your God is my God. Your people are mine. I'm going where you're going. I don't know what it is about you. I just met you a few years ago, but I'm going because there's a God on you that I'm going to with. That's right. Yeah, hallelujah. If it was not for Ruth, it wouldn't have been the bloodline connected oh. to Jesus that oh. connected us to us Gentiles. Yeah. Woo! Glory to God. It was because of a roof. Yeah. It was because of a Rahab yeah. that us Gentiles got a right to the tree of life. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yes, yes it is. That yeah. is exactly mm. right. A prostitute and an abortion. Oh, Hallelujah. God. Thank you, Lord. Glory to, Glory to God. God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 
Can you handle the mantle? It's laid upon you. I will make you fishers of men. I'll drop everything I'm doing and I'm proceeding the walk. You cannot carry the mantle as long as you're trying to analyze what the mantle is made out of. Amen. I don't like that pattern. It, this is kind of scratchy. Is that something else I can use? You can't change the fabric of the calling God has got on you. I, I want something that's more people can notice and like. Come on, come on. Some of our mantles keep us in the background because that's where God needs us at. Amen. Not all of our mantles push us out front. Right. Oh God, help yeah. me here. Here we go. Lord. Not all of our mantles those people like. They recognize it, but they don't like it. All right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when your mantle makes you unliked. Ahab could not stand Elijah. Right. His mantle made him unliked. That's right. his, his, his mantle made Ahab say, you're the one who's troubling Israel. And Elijah said, I'm not the one troubling Israel, it's you. You're the one that's off. You're the one carrying God's folks in idolatry. How is it my fault? Right. That's right. It, 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 it tickles me how many preachers would give up the call of God to become popular. Yep. They won't even say the message that God has given them because it's unpopular and I don't want to be unpopular so I won't preach that message. So no wonder all you come out of a sermon book. Right. You don't want to preach the message God gives you because if you do, that means you're no longer on the field because they ain't going to pay you right. to come in with that kind of message. You have dishonored your mantle. Oh, help me, God. That's a message by itself. When you dishonor the mantle. What happens when you dishonor the mantle? Oh, my. Oh, God. Help me. Help me tonight. I, I, I want you to understand. He was telling Peter and Andrew, I want you to focus. I, I don't want you to focus on money. I don't want you to focus on popularity. But I want you to focus on kingdom business. Right. And what we call kingdom business is not kingdom business. It's you starting up a business. Kingdom business is not you starting up a business using the church for funding. Now you're mad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when you call in preachers because you know the crowd is coming so you can collect a good offering and you know that ain't who God anointed to preach that, Lord have mercy. You dishonored your mantle. Yeah. Yeah. And God's going to judge you for it. Lord have mercy. I don't know who that was for, but God's going to judge you for it. Oh, God. I would to God that we would get down and start praying again. Lord, who can help the people? Not who can get the most money out of the people. Mm. I need somebody that's going to draw a crowd. No, you need somebody that's going to draw God. Come on. That's the truth. Say it. If you only got 15 in your church, praise God for the 15. Get somebody that can help the 15. My God, if he's so anointed and she's so anointed that she can't preach to the 15 and he can't preach to the 15, they ain't anointed at all. Oh, God. Mm. See, 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 see I, I thank God for the fathers that I grew up with. Amen. That didn't care how many folks you had in your church. They said, is there a soul there? I'm going. Praise God. Right? Right? They didn't care how they got there, but they were going. 
Yeah. Now you, you got to give them an honorarium before they get there. An honorarium. Yeah. Lord have mercy for the hotel. An honorarium. Yeah. That Lord have mercy before they leave. An honorarium. Yeah. But they never were there for the soul. That's why they ask you, how many members you got? Right. Before they even show up. That tells you they don't have the real mantle. I just told them I got four and they ain't coming. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, hey, I hear you. They, they, they really don't have the mantle. They got a cloth posing as a mantle. Go online. You can ask. Uh, for pictures of mantles and, and you can ask uh, for prayer mantles and you can somebody made them up yep. Amen. if they have not been sanctioned by God there's nothing but a piece of cloth right. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh my God now you're mad get the wind out of your cheeks Lord have mercy <laughs> puffed up yeah Right? Yes, sir. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Notice he didn't say, Woo! follow me and I'm going to make you a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> oh, he didn't say that no In more. fact, he told them, when you go out, don't even carry a purse with you. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. I'm going to take care of you. Don't, you just go and do what I told you to do. And I'll handle it. My God. Don't worry about your popularity. Because in fact, your message ain't going to be popular with everybody. He said, those that don't like it, shake the dust off your feet and you leave. And guess what? When you leave, let the peace that you brought leave with you. Oh, God. Uh-oh. 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 My God. Help me tonight. Help me. Help me. Can you handle the mantle? The mantle cannot be a short-term goal. Something for quick uh, get-rich-quick scheme. It must be in your heart. It must be your focus. It must be your passion. Give me Psalm 69. Where are the passion field folks anymore? If the organ ain't ringing, they can't preach. If the organ ain't ringing, they can't sing. If somebody ain't hollering, amen, you don't, they can't even function. You, you, you mean you can't preach without somebody saying, go ahead, preach? <laughs> then that means you in for the crowd. Right. Oh, help me hear God. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Everybody needs some encouragement. What does the scripture encourage yourself? What are you going to do with that? Yeah. What are you going to do with when Paul said, I think myself happy? Mm -hmm. what, what, are you gonna, what are you going to do with it? Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh. My God. Psalms 69. And verse 9, for the zeal of thine house hath eaten me up. I've taken on that mantle and I have no other focus but your house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. Oh God. A soldier is no good if half his mind is back at home. Right. Come on, that's the truth. He's going to get somebody shot. Yep. Mm -hmm. He's going to get somebody killed. Yep. Oh, God, Ooh, help me. When you're out on the battlefield, I don't want you talking about what's at home and what you want for dinner. <laughs> I, I want you talking about we got to get these folks done and out of here right. so we can make it back home safely. That's what I want to hear you talking about. Right. As long as your focus is split, yep. oh, I'm going to go swimming after this. You're going to get me killed. Right. <laughs> Too many folk got scattered focus. Mm -hmm. They yes. want to be everything to everybody. Yeah. Lord, just let me focus in on what you called me to do. Mm. I, I, I don't have to have what y'all say all nine gifts of the Spirit because there's more. Mm -hmm. Lord, have mercy. I don't have to have just uh, uh, every piece of the ministry flowing through me. Lord, just let me focus in on the part you've given me, yeah. the mantle that you put on me. I want to be under that mantle. Because if I'm not under that mantle when you show up, 
Right. I'm lost. Mm -hmm. Can I say this? Your mantle that you hold is your ticket to glory. All right. If you are not under the mantle mm -hmm. when he shows up, uh -oh. you are lost. Mm -hmm. Because the lost. mantle identifies who you are. Right. Oh, dear. Uh oh. Uh oh. The mantle identifies you. Because notice when Elijah shows up with Elijah's mantle, they said, oh, he's the next prophet. Yep. It identified who he was. Yep. Because nobody had met him before. Remember, Elijah meets him plowing. Mm -hmm. So when he comes to the sons of the prophets, they had never met him before. You ain't been in our class. Who are you? <laughs> They recognize the mantle. Right. God, help me. <sighs> Can anybody recognize your call? Mm -hmm. Well, or do you have to broadcast it? Right. Yeah, See, I if you have to broadcast it, it ain't your call. Right. Oh God. Oh God. Elijah didn't have to have a card. He just had to have the mantle. Amen. <laughs> he didn't have to have somebody going before him. Behold the prophet of God. He had the mantle. Oh, God. Oh, God. You got too many town criers around you. My God, to announce you. It's sad that the anointing can't announce you. You got to have somebody in the flesh announce you because it's the flesh. The zeal of that house has eaten me up. That's my focus. And the reproaches of them that reproach Thee are falling on. They're falling on me. In other words, they hate me because they hated you in the get go. Come on. There you Why go. are you trying to be friends with God's enemy? That's right. Yeah. Oh, now you're mad. Now you're mad. We've made an allegiance, allegiance with the enemies of God. You're right. So we can get promoted. Mm -hmm. You ain't nothing but a Balaam. Right. Oh, God. Help me. Help me. Amen. My God. Who dishonored his mantle. Yep. Mm. All right, Balaam. God is calling you out. Mm -hmm. Because he told you not to go along with him. And told you not to be with him. Right. But you, you decided because they could promote you. Because they could give you some money. Mm -hmm. yeah. And God said, go ahead and go. See, I got permission from God. But what? how was he saying it when he gave you permission? Because yeah. the Bible said in God's anger was kindled. Against them because he went. Amen. Yep, you got the root right there. Oh, God. Yeah, I, I prayed and God told me to go ahead. Was he angry because you don't know God? You didn't know, Lord, have mercy. You didn't know how he was saying, go ahead? Right. See, I knew there are certain ways my father would say certain things and meant, I dare you. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody know some there. parents like that? Yeah. That when they said, "Yeah, go ahead," that meant I dare you to try it. We had the same dad, brother. Oh God! Amen. See, when you don't know God, and God said, "Yeah, go ahead," you don't know. He said, "I'm daring you," because you don't possess the mantle correctly. Right. That's right. See, one thing: when you get the mantle, you got to know who gives it to you, yeah. and whose spirit possesses the mantle that you want. Leave it alone, preacher. Leave it alone. Lord, have mercy. My God, my God. I, I, I understand why I'm hated. They don't like you. That, that's what God told Samuel. Samuel, they didn't reject you. They don't know nothing about you. They rejected me. So all y'all that feel like, oh, I'm rejected. If you're doing it right, they didn't reject you. They rejected God. Amen. If you're carrying the mantle, yes. they're rejecting the one that put the mantle on you. Amen. That's right. That is right. Mm. 
That's why I don't have to Woo. seek popularity. Right. Because God is already popular. Amen. That's right. <laughs> and they don't like the God that created them. Mm. Now, if they don't like the God that created them, the God that blessed them, the God that fed them, the God that given them air to breathe. How in the world are you going to work for that God and they like you? Mm. All right. Beware when all men speak well of you. Yeah. That's right. well, I never had that. You preaching for everybody and anybody and they like, oh yeah, we're so glad to have you. You ain't said nothing about the gospel. Lord have mercy because you have dishonored your mantle. Hallelujah. This is why you never going to go anywhere. I, I, I have made a resolve. I don't have to go anywhere anymore. I just want to be please God. And if nobody ever likes me, I want to please God because there's a mantle upon me. He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. You've got to have the mantle of God upon you. Now I'm about to make y'all real mad. Nobody got the mantle that asked for it. Right. <laughs> if you had to ask for it, you didn't get it from God. Right. Joshua didn't ask for it. Right. All right. <laughs> Isaiah didn't ask for it. Jeremiah sure didn't ask for it. Right. Moses didn't want it. Lord, have mercy. Right, yeah. My God, my God, yeah. help me tonight. David was minding his own business when God put the mantle on him. How is it you begging? No, no, no. And, and you don't know what's in the mantle. You don't know what's in the mantle. Your mindset is wrong. Don't be disqualified. Get this next point. Don't be disqualified by going backwards. Give me Luke 9 and 62. My time is running. Uh, I don't see why I can't be the next. Next what? <laughs> The next martyr? Because when you got the mantle, you're saying, I'm putting myself on the firing line. Because they're trying to kill everybody with the mantle. Oh, God, help me. Oh, God. You got it. Oh, God, help me tonight. Help me tonight. Luke 9. 62, I believe, is what I want. And Jesus said unto him, No man, having put his hand to the plow, and looking back, is fit. Is fit. You're not in the proper position for the kingdom of God. You're dirty. And I don't know anybody here that if you got a nice white sofa, you'd let anybody just come in and plop on your couch unless you had seat covers. Lord have mercy. Y'all remember when the plastic covers were popular over the couch? But oh, even that, you'd be like, I don't want to clean all that up. Get off my couch. You, you, you had to walk in on my rugs with all that mud. Lord have mercy. But somehow we think God is less than us and we can be in any kind of shape and he gonna let us in he said if i gave you a job to do and you turn back from it you're not fit right if i gave you the mantle and because it wasn't the one you wanted you threw it down and said can i pick my own You ain't fit. Right. Now get this, get this, get this. Y'all ready for this? The mantle is not chosen to fit you. Right. The mantle is put on you so you can come up to fit the mantle. Oh, 
y'all didn't catch that. It don't fit right. That means you got to come up more spiritual. Oh God, help me, help me. The mantle was not put on Elijah because he was fit as we think he was. He didn't know God like that. Right. <laughs> oh, but he had to come up. Right. Too many of y'all thinking trying to act like you spiritual gave you the mantle. <laughs> Being real, that's who God wants. Amen. Somebody that's real that he can use. Yes. Oh, God, I got to quit. I'm feeling this thing now. My God, my God. The Apostle Paul says this, that he all had forsook him. Mm -hmm. He had a mantle and made everybody leave him. Everybody left him alone except God. Right. Oh, God. How come your mantle got you so popular you can't get no rest? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh God The only person I know that couldn't get no rest He said there's no rest for the wicked Oh God Jesus withdrew himself and got some rest Oh help me here Holy Ghost But you can't get no rest nowhere <laughs> that makes you a transgressor. But the way of the transgressor is hard. Help me, God. What is your mindset? I, I, I want to be liked. You don't have the mantle. And some of y'all passed off mantles to people that can't handle it. The only way, reason you gave it to them because they yes people. But they saying yes to the wrong person. Yeah. Right. They saying yes to you and not God. Leave that alone. Yeah. Leave that alone. Yeah. Leave that alone. You said that last week. It was worth repeating. Leave that alone. Yeah. Leave that alone. Because <laughs> you didn't hear me last week. So let me repeat it. Come on. Well, it's done now. No, it's not done until God pronounces <laughs> sentence. But if you hear the voice of God telling you to go back and retrieve and do it back right, you need to do it right. Well, somebody's feelings going to be hurt. That's better than my soul being lost. Yes, that's right. Yes, man. And the souls of those that are sitting under them. Because if you put somebody unqualified in that office, yep. then everybody that's sitting under them mm -hmm. becomes unqualified. That's right. Because you become what you eat. Oh, God. I hope this is making sense to somebody, Amen. Lord. Oh, God. Can you handle it? One last scripture. And this will set us up for the next time we have this class. Mark chapter number 10. Starting at verse 35. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being here in, the, in, in, in this teaching hall tonight. Uh, Lord have mercy. But listen let, let, here. And James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to him saying, Master, we would that thou shouldest do for us whatsoever we desire. Yeah, that's we, we, we want you to give us what we want. Now, notice this is pre-Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. This is pre-facts yeah. that they have. Because they're still trying to figure out who Jesus really is. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, they are. And he said unto them, what would uh, ye have uh, that I should do for you? And they said unto him, grant us unto us that we may sit one on thy right hand and the other on thy left hand in thy glory. We want that kind of mantle. 
that we can pick our seat. No, you don't. Oh, you don't want that. That's right. Oh, 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 no, 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 sir, no, sir, no, sir, no, sir. Let, let, let's see what he says to them. He says, ye know not what ye ask. Can ye drink of the cup that I drink of? Now, notice they didn't say, can we have your seat? We just want to sit next to you. He said, but to sit next to me, you got to drink the same cup. Oh, y'all didn't catch that. Y'all didn't catch that. He said, and be baptized with the same baptism that I'm baptized with. And they said unto him, we can. Yeah, we, we, we can handle it. We, we okay. And Jesus said unto them, ye shall indeed drink of the cup that I drink of. And with the baptism that I am baptized uh, with all, shall ye be baptized. You, you, you gonna have it. Oh yeah, you're about to get it. Now get this, as Jesus has suffered in the flesh, arm yourself likewise. My God, he was hated. My God, the Bible said he was despised and rejected. Oh Lord, have mercy. A man of sorrow, acquainted with grief. Now this is the baptism he's baptized with. This is the cup he had to drink. The cup of death he had to drink. Lord, have mercy. But we want all this power. But we don't want the cup or the baptism. We just want to be happy. We, we, we just want to be, you know, I'm just blessed in the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm blessed and highly favored. Oh, 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 oh. Blessed and highly favored comes with a cost. Mm -hmm. It almost cost Mary her life. Blessed art thou, a highly favored among women, and blessed, Lord have mercy. Isn't that what the scripture called it? Yeah. Blessed art thou among women. Yeah. You, you, you got favor with God, but it almost cost her life because if it had been known mm -hmm. that she was with child mm -hmm. before she was married, yeah. she would have been stoned to death. Right. Her favor put her life on the line. Her favor made her criticized. Yeah. Oh. Yep, and God you, 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 you want favor, but you don't want the criticism. Right. <laughs> you don't want the gossip, the naysayers. Lord, have mercy. You don't want the people. Check them. Lord, have mercy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Favor puts you in some dangerous situations. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh God, favor don't make you liked by people. Amen. No, no, it don't guarantee that. Well, I'm favored, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but you got a whole entourage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who favoring you? Is it God? Right. <laughs> oh, can you handle the mantle? That's right. Can, yeah. can, can you handle the mantle? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm going. Tell somebody what you said. It wasn't me because if God was talking to somebody, I don't know who he was talking to other than what he was saying to me. Mm -hmm. But I know he's talking to the church universal right. that some of us have dishonored our mantles. Mm -hmm. And there's a penalty for it. Right. Eli, him dishonoring his mantle cost his son's life and cost him his. And it caused the cost of the Israel to lose the Ark of God. Yeah, yeah. And so when the Israel lost the Ark of God, Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. It was one of Samuel's daughter-in-laws that named their child Ichabod. Yeah. The glory of the Lord hath departed. Yeah. Oh, friend of mine, don't get mixed up. Now you're in Ichabod. There is no shouting your way out of Ichabod. Yeah, no. There is no speaking your tongues no. out of Ichabod. Yeah, no. The only way to get out of Ichabod, you've got to recover yes. That's right. 
the glory of God. Which means there's got to be repentance. And guess what? Got to be a whole lot of deaths. Sacrifice, Too many of us, since the world don't know what the real glory of God is, we can fake it. And they think we, we, we're still underneath the glory of God. And we faked it so much and we shouting little, Ooh, I like that church over there. They, they bouncing and it's so lively. And, and we won't admit the glory is gone. We just know how to fake it. To dead people, anything seems alive. That's why they can sit up in the church, the pastor cussing, and everything else, and they, yay man! Because to a dead person, anything active seems like life. And they're sitting in Ichabod. God, we thank you tonight. Thank you again for speaking to us, God. Thank you again for talking to us, Lord. Lord, we give your name the glory and the honor tonight. We pray, God, that you are pleased with everything that was said and everything that was done. God, we pray, Lord, that somebody grabbed a hold to the word of God tonight. Lord, and it has reignited a fire in them to carry the mantle. We pray, God, that it ignited repentance in your people, dear God. We pray that it ignited, Lord, a spirit of trying to figure out, Lord, where you want us at in the body of Christ. And, Lord, help us not to dishonor what you placed on our life. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, let the, the zeal of your house consume us, God. My God, in the name of Jesus, we don't just want the miracle power, but Lord, we want to honor you with the life of the mantle. In the name of Jesus, be glorified, we pray, in our life, dear God, in the name of Jesus. Cleanse us, oh God, and help us, oh God, to be the vessels you're calling for. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord God, my God, for every soul, Lord, that is here, that were listening, that was watching, God, that you would, God, direct them and guide them in the name of Jesus. We pray, oh God, for those, Lord, that you've even talking to before they even come to the fullness of the knowledge of the truth, God, that they would now submit to your will. My God, and come under the mantle. My God, that you've placed in their life. So they may walk worthy of the location wherewith they're called. My God, in the name of Jesus. And we'll thank you for victory even now, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Friend of mine, if you have not gone down in the precious name of the Lord Jesus. For the remission or the removal of your sins. You need to repent today. You cannot afford to wait till the first Sunday. You cannot afford to wait till New Year's Day. You cannot afford to wait till Easter. you got to do it now. In the day that you hear his voice, harden not your heart. You can't afford to wait a long time because you don't know when he's calling. He's standing at the door. He's standing at the door. He's ready to show up. He's standing at the door. Yes. Oh, will you be ready? Yes. You must be submit and be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus for the remission of your sins. And you've got to repent and God will fill you with the Holy Ghost. He promised he would fill you with the Holy Ghost. And everybody according to scripture that got the Holy Ghost spoke with tongues as the Spirit of God gave them utterance. Right. Oh, friend, don't let no preacher, no religion tell you you don't have to speak in tongues and, and denounce tongue speaking just because they got folks trying to teach you. You got to get it by the way. Amen. Hallelujah. You got counterfeiters, everything. That don't mean you stop. That's right. You got counterfeit mechanics. Don't mean you don't find a good one. You got counterfeit cooks that can't cook, but they fool people because it look good. Do you bite into it and find out, no, this ain't it. Uh, 
<laughs> you got to be saved by the way. Not all churches are full of hypocrites. But I will tell you, the church of God is full of wounded folks. Because yep. the well need not a physician. We come so God can cure us of whatever is here. Yes. Lord, have mercy. But I, I implore you tonight, if you know the calling of God on your life, it's time to get in under the mantle yes. and walk with the mantle. Yes. In the name of Jesus. God bless your souls in the name of Jesus. It is privilege time whoop, whoop. in the tabernacle. Oh, God.